Right, is that cold tea? Is it? Okay. Hi guys. This week is calm your week. Just wanted to say that before I got into this. Hi guys, how are you doing? How have your how has your week been? Hi guys, how are you doing? How has your week been? Is it good? Is it going good? Will you be okay? <laughs> Alright, so since this week is called Come Week, I had another video to post for this week, but this week is Come Week. And whenever someone mentions Come Week, always in the last week of October, whenever it rolls around to that time of the year when it is Come Week, some people start to get petty, people get angry, people, I don't know, what, what is it, what did we do to y'all, you know? So, what I'm going to be doing in this video today is just revealing some stories from my days at Conmere. I left Conmere three years ago. Yes, I did six more. And <laughs> it has been a wonderful experience. So I just want to share some of those experiences with y'all. I won't be calling any names. If you have been mentioned in this video, do and you decide to act up about it, you're revealing your own self. I am not going to call any names. Some stories might be about me, they might not be about me, they might be other people I know, people I don't know, people I know that I don't speak to, I do speak to, who really knows? So I'm going to just do a number of stories and I have them here written down. But at first I'm going to mention um, the first, very first video that I post on YouTube. Obviously it's like no on private or blocks or whatever no but it's of this guy you can't see his face in the video but it's of this guy he decided that he's going to he was going to sit down and we're gonna trust this chair this is not stable are we this guy he i don't know what made him come up with the idea but he had this plan to lie down in the middle of like close by the parking lot or come here i just play that and basically everyone wonder was wondering what why is he just like is he is he okay what's happening and he just lay down there everybody started coming crawling around him trying to figure out what it was that was going around parents were driving around peeping slowing on their cars peeping trying to figure out okay, is that student okay like what is going on because there were a lot of student crowded around him on the ground then a teacher one of the teachers at Columbia she passed realized who the student was and was like hey what are you doing out down there get up and he just got up and walked away and that was the end of that Everyone else was stood there looking retarded. He he rose up from the bed basically. Everybody was just standing up there wondering wait. What just happened? And that is this happened after school. This is not during school. This is after school. There were a number of lawless things that were done by just a group of guys. Not the same group of guys. Group of guys, but by a number, just this clique. And the neighbors outside whatever but there's a group of guys that come here like for another one was again in the same spot at come here where they would they decided that they would do this invisible road trick one guy would go on one side of the road another one would go on another side of the road and they would pretend they would pull and pretend that they were pulling this invisible road across the street and <laughs> while cars were coming so parents were coming into the gate and they were pretending that they were pulling this invisible rope a 
across the street. So obviously the parents would not have known what was going on. So they would stop the car and they would be peeping out the window wondering what it is that's going on. What are these children doing? What Are they pulling something in front of the car? Some of the parents actually got out the car, started to quarrel, actually checked to see if there was something there in front of the car. And something they just did it and then they walked away. And the car stood, and the parents just stood there like, is there actually something in front of my car? Yes, the things that happen that come here. I am not saying that these things still happen, but these are the things that happened when I was there, or when this group of students were there. Lady boy, lady girl, worry for the girls. And the cars are just passing by. The boy don't care. Nobody cares that there's a dead boy lying on the ground. This is so sad. The only things that happen in Palmer school. Only at Palmer. We will miss him. See the cars like stopping and watching what's going on. <laughs> the cars are spectating. Wait, they're kicking him, man. Y'all ain't got a respect for these. I know, yes. <laughs> Someone is going to be a dog. One of Palmer teachers wants to know what's going on. <laughs> As you know, um, secondary school students, I'm not saying all of them, but typically, like, it's quarreled about at school uh, about how dirty secondary school students are and how they don't keep care of the school and, you know, so that leads to a number of pests at the school. So we're going to talk about one particular fellow that was taken advantage of and was used to scare the rest of the school again and this was a rat a rat a mouse a rodent whatever you choose to call it students were we were just having normal morning assembly like any normal school in the hall and some brilliant soul I'm pretty sure it was a third farmer third farmer, not too sure what farm I was in at this point, decided that at morning assembly would be the brilliant time to yell rat in the hall. And of course, people got up and started running in all directions. What else would have happened, you know? Like, what else was expected to happen other than everyone started to get up and scream? Not knowing, so everyone is screaming and running, looking down, not knowing that this, there was actually no rat. Stories from here. I have not opened up my notes as yet. This is all from memory. And don't pretend. <laughs> and don't pretend like these sort of things only happen at Palmer. You know? These ha these happen at all schools. And there's going to be some people that say, Palmer students, you are supposed to be more brilliant than that. They are all the same age. They are all students. Everybody's going to make some sort of mistake. All sorts of drama and whatever are going to happen. So it happens at all schools. If you don't think that it happens at Harrison College, Community College, etc. Foundation, St. Michael, it probably does. <laughs> Not saying that we didn't do our work, but I'm just saying that it happened. Yes, okay, I found them. I call this one the Great Escape. So when I was in first form, there was this teacher that liked to line up everyone, like as everyone was about to get up and leave and pack up their bag. You heard the bell ring because we had one of the old school bells that you pull, probably still there, pull the bell. And we heard the bell, we were just like, 
okay it's time to go it's time to home time but you know that that quote that all the teachers say um at the end of school the bell does not dismiss you i dismiss you so everybody had to sit back down and wait till the teacher was actually finished now certain students did not like this well i mean who would right but this is one particular student that didn't like this because as we were sitting down there waiting for her to actually uh the teacher to actually finish what they were saying we could see all of the other students from the other classes passing by our windows and the door like to go home and we also wanted to go home but we sat there and we waited until she was finished talking and then she's like okay all right y'all could go y'all could leave now and instead of us just getting up and packing our bags and leaving she was like okay laying up at the door we we're like okay all right i guess this is gonna take a while so we all like our little good students put our bags on our back and laying up at the door no the one student that didn't like this particularly was at the front of the lane can, can you see where this is going um no as the teacher was going down the lane to make sure that everyone was i don't know what she was doing but she was walking down the lane to just check on everyone everyone you have your bags and whatnot she was walking going to the back of the lane the person at the front of the line, he looked back to check where the teacher was and he made a run for it. The teacher turned around, realized that he was making a run for it and she also made a run for it right after him through the corridor of children waiting to go home. As she was running behind that student, other people in the class also made a break for it and escaped through the door while she was running behind that student. Other people ran into the bathroom, other people just went and went home. Some other people, I believe, I can't remember if I, I was one of the nerds that just stayed behind and was like a good little student, like, I am not going to defy my teacher. You know, I was one of those students. Eventually, she did catch up with him and dragged him back to the classroom. Uh, is that cold tea? Is it? It's actually not tea. It's water. But yeah. Those are a couple of stories. Like, I have more. Probably like, more interesting ones. Maybe those weren't as interesting to you. Maybe you already knew them. I don't know. But if y'all want some more, just let me know. I have a list. Am I going to reveal more? Mm, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what the future holds. But thank you for being here. Thank you for watching this video. I actually wanted to reveal, um, to post another video for this week, but it's coming mirror week. So I had to do this video. But like, subscribe, tell your friends, tell your family. And if you don't, I'll tell your mom. <laughs> that outro is for my brother. Do you like it? Let me know, please. Okay. Bye.